Let's open the cooler to show you how do we keep the stuff. Okay. Let's look at it. So this is a, you see this is our rub, rubber band. You see this is the razor claims we actually got last night. So what do we do is, uh, you see they're still alive, so they're still moving. Everything's very pretty healthy. So, look at that. So you see, they're still alive. Look, even look at this one. When the long nose stick out, means they are relaxing. They need a... Take a look at this. We got this last night. Okay, so when we got it from the field, okay, very important thing is you have to use a rubber band and uh, to tighten them not too tight but it's good enough to let them close their shell otherwise when the shell too much freedom not like in the sand they will open after they open they die very quick okay so put in the cooler after then then we use a white towel with all the salty water okay so then we cover this whole thing, make an environment mo very moisture, very wet in there. But you don't want any salt water in your bucket, okay? The bucket is supposed to be very dry, no water in there. Then you cover this, then you put ice on the top. My eyes are gone, so we needed more ice. So not really heavy stuff to push it. It's just a light weight on that, so that's why we separate, always separate the bag for the ice, okay? Then we can keep the razor claim alive at least three to five days. Look at this, she holds the whole razor clamp and uh, just cut it from edge. Make sure you scrap all the meat, separate from the shell. Uh, especially there's a two scallops, very tender and the best part of the meat in the razor clamp. So she took the whole thing out, look at that shell shell actually is very clean so all the meat is in her hand right now and the whole piece so she actually will separate this uh, razor claim meat into the three parts okay so first she actually clean all the sand as she could then she took the look at that that's a uh, two pieces of uh, scallops which is the best meat in the razor claim. The reason of we're saying that is yeah. their most tender meat and uh, also very tiny pieces. So then she cut in the middle. Look at that. She is cutting in the middle from the bottom to the top, which is separate the skirt and separate the nose. You see the nose is like a two tubes right in the nose. You have to clean all the sand. Look at that, that stuff. That's a uh, sand. So then she washed the sand away. Then she actually cut the top piece, yep. top piece of that note. So yeah, that piece she cut off. Then she's separated uh, from the belly, which is uh, uh, in the middle 
of that two skirt. So, okay, the bed. Look at it. Ooh. This is a skirt. That's a note. Belly. That's a belly. Okay, now she's going to show you how this she clean part by uh, piece by piece, and uh, this is a. Think this is that we think this is a long. This is like a gill of the fish. Yeah, that's a, she cut all the gill. Then she's uh, actually. Uh, okay, now she take all the gut. She open the belly and take all the guts away. So yeah, that's all the actually uh, the part you cannot eat. So that's it, and the rest of them all very nice meat. Make sure everything, yeah. Be careful. Some edible, especially all those edge tips might be hiding some sands in there, so you need to clean them up. Otherwise, when you eat them, it will be very disgusting. All the all the sand okay. actually yep. give you a sandy feeling. This now place. she's going to take this part, which is skirt and the nose. They normally stays together. So she actually makes sure move all the stuff away she don't want and she's clean the she's going to clean. You see that veil there is a, like a very thin and the jelly type of veil on the edge of the skirt. Okay. She always take that thing away which they always stick it's a very sticky stuff, so lots of sand actually hiding on that veil portion. So she cleaned everything off and move that like a sticky stuff away. So now that's the piece. Now this is uh, actually the best part she had. Then we're going to take a look at it. Cool. She's a down. I'll send look, out. Look, look at that nice job. So no sin. Okay, we're going to show you. She's laying all the stuff right in that plate. Look at the scallops, right on the edge, right there. And that's a belly part. And this is a skirt. That's a nose. Actually, when she cook it, she separate them also. Separate the skirt and the nose, which is a different meat. Okay. Cool, nice job. Now she finished all the clean, cleaning work and she's ready to go for cooking. Now we're going to have razor cream hot pot meal for our breakfast now. Uh, Ping actually mixed with the wasabi, with the soy sauce, but we Unfortunately, forgot to bring our pickled ginger, but this is still going to be very delicious because really fresh razor clam. She just clean up, still alive. Uh, it's like a whole plate. We're going to have that. Finish all this for our breakfast. Yes. Okay. Smell it. Smell the the freshness. Yeah, it's time to eat. Sorry, I cannot wait. You eat nothing. Okay, please. We like a raw meat, so we probably just dip. For one second, two seconds, no more than three seconds. This is the belly part. Mm. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm.
pin just don't want to stop. That's why she don't want to pop. She want to keep eating. Let me do this job. When you dip real quick, just uh, within three seconds, when you put the mouth, put the meat, the meat actually put it into the mouth, you will shock by the freshness. Okay, that fresh taste just spread in your mouth and uh, senses your whole mouth nose and uh, the sensitive feeling to tell you this meat is very delicious the taste will like crunchy first which is uh, abnormal from seafood so normally seafood don't give you that crunchy flavor okay then the delicious actually in your mouth to go through your tongue go through your senses go through your inside of the mouth, which is very special. Then after delicious, it follows with the sweetness. That's a special sweetness from seafood, especially fresh seafood. But look at this, more than fresh, it's alive. So the sweet is very strong, actually just created after those tastes. Then you have a creamy taste, buttery taste, delicious, yummy, tender, uh, spongy, all kinds of, I don't know how to explain that. Excuse me, I don't want to explain, I want to eat now, okay? Sorry for that. You got to try at home by yourself. I couldn't give you all the feeling I have. Okay, Ping even don't want to talk, so I done my job, okay? See you, <laughs> let me eat. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to try the belly part. Like we told you, belly has more, most thick meat. It all depends. Somebody like this part, somebody like that part. Belly, uh, not so crunchy, but a lot of meat. I wish my smile tells you all my feeling about the belly part. You cannot beat it. Scalps, as we told you, most are tender and the best part, even very small, but it's very nice. I put there even three seconds as the other parts. Very nice. We used to give this best part to my mom and the daddy. But they're not here today. Really was awesome.
嗯，好好吃啊。你得看着点，做鱼饵。这几个，鼻子还不够啊。We eat them all.